Welcome back to Baron's New Vegas Gun Guide, and as promised, we are moving from the cowboy classics to the world of the sophisticated semi-autos. And starting from the bottom, we have the silenced 22 pistol. Now like the name implies, it is silenced and fires a 22 cartridge, the 22 long rifle in particular. Now the pistol itself is fairly new, being only produced in the 21st century whereas the 22 cartridge has a long history, it traces its cartridge back to 1884 with the Union Metallic Cartridge Company. It was the successor to the 22 BB, the 22 short, and the 22 extra long that came before it, combining all aspects of these rounds. Now besides the 17 caliber, the 22 and its variants are the only common rim fire cartridges available today. Now what that means is a rim fire has its priming material, which is the stuff that ignites the gunpowder, in the rim of the cartridge, and it is not in a cartridge cap. This is the reason why you don't get primers from breaking it down in game, and can't normally craft them, as all the other guns use priming caps. Now moving from the cartridge to the gun, the 22 silence pistol in game was based off of the Ruger Standard Mark III, and the Ruger Standard Mark III, made by Ruger, obviously, was made between the years of 2004 to 2016. Now, we can assume that the guns in game were made at a later date, or some other variant produced later, because otherwise there probably wouldn't have been that many around at the start of the war. And that says nothing about the 200 years after the fact, before New Vegas even starts. But enough history and logistics for now, we gotta get to the juicy stats. And coming from the King of Cowboys to the 22 Silence Pistol is quite the leap down. At only 9 damage a shot, it's not going to be popping heads like the 44 mag. But at 9 damage is at least more than your unarmored fists, but there really isn't much after that. With a rate of fire of 3.5 shots, and with the right trigger finger, you can get a DPS of 31.5, or a sustained DPS of 23.1, taking into account its 1.7 reload in 16 shot magazine. With a base damage that low and a sustained DPS that low, this is not really a gun for a protracted fight, and you should not really see it as that. It does have a low AP cost though, at 17 AP per cost in VATS, but that is an efficiency of 0.53 damage per AP, which, while cheap per shot, is very inefficient, unless it's used for stealth attacks. And this is where the Silence 22 pistol shines. With a crit percent multiplier of 3, it is the first of the crit loving weapons, and the crit damage is 18, tripling the damage, putting it in 357 levels of damage without perks. Sneak attack criticals, thus bringing it up to 54 damage, just shy of the hunting revolver. And that's without going into the applicable perks again. And with its integral silencer, it's possible to stack up those sneak attacks as long as you can stay as sneaky as possible. If you can stick it out to mid-range. Equipped with partridge-style sights, aka standard iron pistol sights, this pistol is really for short range though. Indoor fights and the occasional Hail Mary medium range shot. But when sneaking, these mid-range shots are effective. But... With a spread of 0.5, it really struggles to reach out to that range. The last note on stealth, the Silence 22 pistol is an exceptional holdout weapon, requiring no sneak to get it into casinos, and is unique in the base game for this. Now moving to logistics, we get this gun being very kind to your wallet. At only 80 caps, although it is kind of heavy, at 3 weight units, which is one more than the 357 Magnum but still not so heavy that you can't even use it. And now I think it's time we get to that ammo, since we spent so much time talking about it. The 22 Long Rifle. At one cap per round standard, it is cheap and very plentiful, but there is a variant if you're struggling to keep your 22 silence pistol all filled up, and that's to buy a box of 100 plinkin rounds. Now, they only do 85% damage, but you do get a box of 100 of them, as previously stated, for only 25 caps. Which, in most cases, for damage reduction purposes, it's only a reduction of 1 damage. But doing the numbers, it reduces your sneak attack damage by 8. So be careful when you're using plankin ammo, because if you're using it in situations where it is not the best round, you're going to be severely underperforming. Now finally, 
The other round that has is the hollow point. At two caps per round, you're not really going to be breaking the bank with this one. And you do get the bonus of the 75% more damage, but the increase of DT of the enemy by three times. Again, sneak attacks are very important when using hollow points, especially in this gun, and they get such a bonus. Now, as I've said before, all the ammo is uncraftable under unmodded conditions. Also, the Silence 22 pistol can only take 495 shots for all three types of ammunition, but you don't have to worry about running out some other way. Now, even though it has such low durability, the cost of the gun is so low that it is almost completely disposable, and, you know, you could almost dispose of them after every good firefight. Now, putting into that context, it almost is a blessing that it doesn't have mods outside of a modded game. And with a gun's requirement of zero and a strength requirement of one, it fits a nice niche as a cheap beginner gun, or the silent long hand of a careful assassin, although it's not that long of a hand. Now, you might be thinking, how can I acquire this fine firearm? Well, it can be found in Chet's shop in Good Springs, both in his shop inventory and just on his table, which is one of the first places you can pick up the gun. It can also be found way down the line in Camp McCarran, near the Legion prison of Silas, and the other tents outside in Camp McCarran's main space. It can also be found in the Vicky and Vance in Prim, which is probably a good place to get it, and sold by Mr. Holdout, Gun Rano's Chet and Michael Kerr of the 188 Trading Post. Sadly, there is no unique version of this gun in order to really make the assassin angle shine. If only there was one of them with better durability and better damage, but we can only dream of it. But I think that's really a strength. Its lack of requirements and cheap cost, as well as its lack of any sort of staying power with the player, really helps you no matter your build, especially when you enter New Vegas. Because having a gun like that, that you can just fire a few shots, throw it away whenever you kill your target, and be done with the whole thing. Now with a stealth boy and a few choice perks, it does start to elevate. The right hands can make the Silence 220 pistol punch up way outside of its class range. Now, in my closing statements, I will say that the mods I'm using to make the gun look this way are the Retexture Project and WMX. Two mods I'll be using throughout the series again. Now, thank you very much. Goodbye.